Somalia, one of the most dangerous places in the world. I just want to ask a question, but reply me in the comment section. Would you ever dare to visit Somalia after hearing this? Based on the news we've been watching and hearing for years about Somalia, the name Somalia is famous for civil war, kidnapping, terrorism, and lastly, pirates. But would you ever believe if I tell you that there is an unrecognized country inside Somalia which is safer and peaceful than most country in the world? Welcome to Somaliland, one of the safest and most peaceful regions in all of the Horn of Africa. Somaliland is so safe, like this guy, this is the currency exchange, this is his money, he just covered it up. I'm very famous man. I'm very famous man. I'm very famous man. I'm very famous man. I'm very famous I'm very famous man. 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 I did not know. Oh, well, Somaliland is a very peaceful country. Thank you. Brother. Very Somaliland peaceful. Somaliland is very peaceful. Tell them that it's very yeah. peaceful. They don't know. Yeah. To come to visit Somaliland because Somaliland is a very peaceful country. Right. Uh, you can see money everywhere. This is our money, yeah? This, this is our currency exchange. He just went to pray, covered it up, and came back. That's how safe it is here. Imagine. He, he left the money just to go and pray and come back. And no yeah. one touched no your one money. Touched. Are, you, are you sure? No one touched the money. <laughs> You see, one of my favorite things about Somaliland is the trust and honesty in our people. These women are sitting on the side of a street, on a front-facing street, with their gold on display in a case, and when it comes time for prayer, they will just walk away and come back, and no one will have taken their gold. That's the kind of love and trust we have in our people here in Somaliland. The safety levels are nothing to be considered when you think about it this way. When you see men and women on the streets with bundles of money and pockets of gold, I've been here for about five months and I'd probably say that like, this is very, very chill place, you know, it's, it's very safe, one of the probably safest places in Africa. Like I said to you earlier, like I lost my phone about two times and they brought back the phone to me, the same place that they dropped me off at in the taxi. So, you know, welcome to Regessa, this is a nice place to be and hopefully more foreigners come and see the benefits of our country. Taxi summit! Yes, yes. <laughs> Hargesa, this place is Hargesia. I'm from Nairobi, Kenya, and I'm happy to meet Mr. Wodemaya here in Hargesa, Somaliland. And what are you doing in here? Yeah, I'm working in the education sector, and I'm happy about Somaliland. Is it safe to live in here? Yeah, it's very safe. Contrary to what most people believe, that Somaliland is unsafe, this place is super safe, and uh, we are happy to work here. What are you going to tell people who have never been to this country before, whatever they say, what are you going to say? They should visit Hargeisa and have a taste of the Aloha and Mara. Very nice place. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to me. I appreciate it, man. Nice to meet you. Like, yo, I'm here in Somaliland, man. And I, I, I'm not really scared of moving around. Like, I, I'm alone, man. many times have I been telling you that never allow the media to corrupt your eyesight but rather go out there go live your life go learn something new and make sure you explore brothers and sisters I'm so glad that I came to Somaliland so you know what I've learned a new word and all I'm gonna tell you is that Kosodo wo Somaliland
Before we continue, I just want to ask you a question. Have you liked the video yet? If not, please like the video and make sure you subscribe to help us reach 900,000 subscribers. But hey, I know and believe that most of you really want to know how this unrecognized country was formed. Good afternoon, my name is Wadamaya and I'm from Ghana and it's my first time coming to Somaliland and all I want to know is how Somaliland was formed. Yes. Uh, my name is Faisal Hashi. I'm from Somaliland, born and raised here. Uh, Somaliland was uh, uh, just like any other African country, used to be a uh, British colony. Okay. And Somaliland gained independence uh, June 26, uh, 1960. Uh, a few days later, Somaliland joined the other Somalia, which used to be Italian Somalia. So July 1st, that's when uh, was formed Somali uh, Republic. Then after 30 years, there was a civil war and the Somalilanders couldn't take what was happening at the government side. So there was a civil war and we regained our independence in May of 1991. Then now we are on our own feet now. But it's not a recognized country in the world. It's not a recognized, but uh, it's an autonomous uh, region. We have nothing to do with the rest of Somalia. We have our own parliament. We have our own uh, uh, government. We have our own ministers. We have our own currency. So it's a government that's functioning, regardless of whether it's recognized or not. OK, well, there's no conventional currency exchange shop. You're going to do it right here on the ground. OK. To change dollars? Dollars into land. Uh, uh, One dollar is how much? Eight thousand. Eight thousand? Yeah. Eight thousand three hundred. Eight thousand three hundred. Can you change fifty dollars for me? Yes. <laughs> how much would, I, would that be? Four hundred thousand seventy-five cents. Four hundred thousand. Four hundred thousand for fifty dollars? Will I be able to carry it? We'll carry it. Yes, you can. Okay. In a bag, in a bag. In a bag? Whoa. 400. That's 400? That's 400. It's a lot of money. Look at the difference. $50 so much. Ha. 17. Can you them by? 17. Ah. Are you changing all of it? Wait, just I think there's 60 just there. 50. Just 50. Okay. It's 50 or 60. Do you want it all changed? Just give me ten dollars. Okay. Yo, can this be fifty dollars? That's a lot of money. Maya, can you imagine walking home with your paycheck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> Do people carry their paychecks in wheelbarrows? Yes, Yes. Oh my God. Yes. yes. So if Somaliland is a country that is not recognized in the world, then how did I get here? I mean, if you watch my previous episode, you realize that I was in Jigjiga, which is a Somali state of Ethiopia, and they shared the same border with Somaliland. And I bet you the road from Jigjiga to Somaliland is one of the best roads I've ever used. I think Ethiopia is really investing more into roads. We finally arrived at the immigration office of Somaliland and we were nearly denied entry because foreigners can't be granted visa in here unless at the embassy in Addis Ababa or at the Harigesia International Airport. But thanks to my YouTube channel, we were finally issued the visa to the country, which costs $60 each. So if you are coming to the country, make sure you get your visa from the airport. So literally we are the last people to get a visa as soon as we're done doors are closed man we've been out here for like the past three hours we are finally on our way to Hargesia. we are finally on our way to Hargesia. Fun facts about the Horn of Africa, we have 7.5 million camels, imagine, we make up 35% of the world's camel population, all right here in Somaliland. We also have the most potential for renewable solar energy across our entire coastline. And 
my favorite part, of course, we have produced the most supermodels in all of the African nations. Come on, join us while we explore the beauty of our nation. Somaliland. She has been doing all the driving. I've <laughs> been doing all the driving. Oh my goodness. Where are we now? Last Gill. Last Gill. Last Gill is the name of a camel, right? Because uh, they have a, ri a river, uh -huh. and all the camels come here to drink water. Oh, okay. That's how they, they name it by Lasgill. So this whole cave is called Lasgill. Lasgill. Yeah. yeah I I've been here for so long to know that Lasgill means camel. <laughs> you know. I'm so tired. Yeah. It took us two hours to get here. It's like two hours away from Hargeisha, right? Yeah, just two hours outside the city and another half an hour off-roading. Wow. But, yeah. but I think coming here is really worth it. But I just want to know what happened in here. So this is the oldest, one of the oldest findings all across Africa of civilization, right here in the Horn of Africa. So in these caves, you'll see paintings and markings. And when tests were done, they were dated back at least 6,000 years old. But I, I want to know who found out that something like this exists in here. Uh, Can you tell us? Yes. Who found out that something like this exists in here? Yeah, Helai. Yeah, I am Kui Helai. French archaeologists, about 10 of them. Yeah, no shy. like in Hodom, uh, everyone knew before mm. the locals who lived here. It was official. Uh, it was finally made official when the French archaeologists came. It, it doesn't make sense. So I'm just gonna say that the locals that live here found it, and they just because they didn't have like anything to document stuff, the French came and said, "Oh, look at that! We found it." That's what the king used to say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so basically, where I'm sitting right now. Mm -hmm. is where the king used to sit. So literally this place used to be the palace for the king. Wow. Sitting on the king's seat. And I think, I believe that the king used to sit in here because you can see the view in front of me, which means that the king sit here just to monitor his territory. I took it there just to go check out the beautiful coast of Somaliland and that is where the port of Berbera is and Berbera is the city of love. Berbera is known for love. Why? The father of Somali love, Emi Bouderi, lived and died here. The legendary story of, of that famous man uh, who loved Hodan was from Berbera. So Berbera is very well known with love. That's why you see love signs everywhere. As a very young boy, I had a legendary story from this man called Elmi Bouderi. Elmi Bouderi lived in Berbera and worked at this oven where they pick bread. He fell in love with a, la with a lady called Hodan. So Hodan lived nearby and she used to come to the oven for bread. So he fell in love with her. I mean, they say he died for the, for her sake, but who knows? <laughs> but they say he died for her sake. And uh, I mean, 
Berbera is very well known with love, with the story of El Bodri. And anybody who comes to Berbera, uh, goes and visits, visits El Bodri's uh, uh, home where he used to work. And there's a monument in the heart of the city, uh, one of the roundabouts of the city, where they have that oven where Elmi Bouderi used to work. I don't think there's any leading Somali who haven't heard about Elmi Bouderi. That story is legendary, it's a famous Somali story. I was so happy to see the diaspora returning to invest in Somaliland. And how do you feel coming back in here? I'm so happy. And uh, I regret the, couple, the, 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 the many years I've been away. I said, why wouldn't I come back earlier? I really can't believe that I've taken the risk to travel to all the five states of Somalia. You did it before me. Oh, you've never done that before? I I've never been. Have you been to Jigjiga? No. no. I was literally in Jigjiga and I couldn't believe I was there. I'm like, Did you know it was a Somali territory? I didn't know until I got there. <laughs> I literally thought I was going to Ethiopia. Oh, and when wow. I got there, they said, this is the Somali region of yeah. Ethiopia. Absolutely. And everything yeah. that they do there, literally like um, Somalians. Absolutely. And I'm like, if I'm here, then I have to go to Hargeisa. How do you feel? Welcome to Hargeisa. Thank you so much. How do you feel? I mean, I feel like they lied to me, man. They lied to you? They what? lied to me. What did they say? Did, no, no, did no, you no. believe the media? No, I, I, you know, like, even if you don't believe in the media, you would definitely believe in what your friends say. Yeah. Because everybody was telling it's me. Dangerous. Oh, no, it's dangerous. They're going to kill die. you. We love you so <laughs> much. Please come back soon. And I'm like, you know what? I need to go. I have a question for you. What is that question? Did they touch you? No one is touching did, me, did, but they, I'd rather did they, me. did they take your money? Did I, mean, they, I, did, I, I saw money on the street. <laughs> and the guy went to the mosque uh -huh. and he came back and his money was still there. Exactly. You know. That's incredible. But you know what? There's something that is mind blowing in here. Yes. I want to understand how can a country that is not recognized in the world be able to protect its territory like this? It's a very uh, good question because it's very hard to see uh, a self-declared country uh, having a parliament, functioning city, functioning uh, uh, territory. Uh, and look how people, the proud it is. Every time you ask them, uh, how is Hargeis? They say, it's peaceful. It's peaceful. It's peaceful. And they say, welcome to Somaliland. <laughs> I don't know if I should ask you this. Do you know that there are five regional states of Somali? Yes, I know. And do you ever think that this regional state will one day form together to become one country? God knows. We, we tried that uh, some 30 years ago. That's when the union came together. Somaliland, Somalia, Soma Northern Somalia, Southern Somalia. Then the idea at the time was to unite the whole. But then that unity couldn't go forward. So it broke down. So uh, currently, I don't see that unity coming together. In the future, it might, but uh, I don't see in the, ne in the near future. Tell us something that you think we need to know about Somaliland. Well, it's a safe country. It's a nice place, nice to visit. Uh, it's a dry land, as you can see it. I mean, uh, it's a drought season. It's a Ramadan. I see you are wearing <laughs> your Ramadan outfit. Uh, no, are you fasting? I'm fasting. I'm okay, fasting. okay. Two Matter of fact, now. two days. Good. Yeah. Uh, how do you like it? No, it's awesome. You know, it's awesome, being yeah. able to connect with your spirit. That's amazing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But you're not Muslim. Are I'm you? not a Muslim, okay. but I mean, I found myself in here, and yes. I feel like I need to respect the culture, respect the people, and join them. Definitely. Yeah. So you can join us for iftar uh, after yeah. we finish our interview. You are more than glad to yeah. join us. Yeah. So Somaliland, it's a, it's, a, it's a small state. It's about uh, four million population. Uh, like I said, we have our own uh, form of government. Uh, the country is safe. Uh, if you compare to the region, the region is a very volatile region and safety and security for Somaliland is number one. Yes, we are trying to work on that uh, recognition issue, but hopefully we'll get there one day. Why should somebody out there visit Somaliland? It's a nice place to visit. It's a uh, uh, holiday season. It, uh, the, the weather is sunshine, you can see, uh, 30, 31, 32 degrees uh, during the daytime. Uh, it's a safe place and it's unique uh, to come and see the country. Uh, there's a lot of diaspora people moving back and I urge those who are uh, stranded with the COVID-19 to come back to their country so that they can contribute to the economy and to the well-being of the, of the society. Thank you so much for talking to Thank me. Thank you.